Hey folks, this is Adria. Have you ever locked yourself out of WordPress? Let me show you what I mean, because I just got this tweet saying, oh my goodness, I've locked myself out. Now here's one of my test sites in WordPress, right? Um, I'm running WordPress 3.0. We can see that on the back end because it says it right here. Now what this person did was they went down here to settings and they went to general and they made a change to the WordPress URL and they no longer can log in. So let's say instead of my test account, I change this to, let me put in some numbers here and I hit save changes. Who knows why? Oh no, let's go back over here. Oh no, this isn't how my site is supposed to look. Ew, what will I do? Well, the challenge is you can't get back in to your admin console. If I do WP login and try to get in, let's see if this works. Nope. Every time I log in now, it's giving me this error. So here's how you get around this, folks. What you do is you log into your control panel, your cPanel, and I hope that you are on a host that supports cPanel. My favorite, of course, is Roach and Host. What we do is we go ahead and get logged in. Here we are at our cPanel, and what we're going to do is go to phpMyAdmin and make a change. So there it is, and it'll redirect me over there. Ah, here we are. So we need to go into the database, and I know that this is my database because I can go ahead and check that information when I look in my SQL databases. We can see here my database name and user account. You also can check this in the WP config file. Anyway, back to phpMyAdmin. So here we are, we're gonna go into our database and from here, we need to find the option that we changed. Now, if I didn't know where this information was, I could do a search. So let's do that first, but then I'll show you where it actually is. So if we go here to search, what I'll do is put in whatever I changed it to, at least part of that. So WordPress 23. And then you wanna make sure you select to search all of the tables. If you do that and hit go, it will show you that it's located in WP options. I now can hit browse. We could have accomplished the same thing by clicking over here, WP options. And as we look around, we see, oh, there it is, set URL, I've changed it. That's why it's not working. So to modify it, we go ahead and click the edit button, which is the little pencil icon. And we're gonna go ahead and simply remove this 23, which was not a good idea to put in. And we hit go. If everything works fine, you'll get kind of this green uh, area up here saying here one row was affected. Here's how long it took, it's usually pretty fast. And now when we head back over here, we'll go ahead and remove that number 23 because that's not helpful. And this looks like our normal login screen. And we go here and log in. Bam, we are back in. Also, when we reload our page, it's back to the way it was. So that is how you recover from making a change to your URL under settings and general um, in WordPress 3.0. Until next time, embrace your inner nerd.